Indeed. Well, moving on to college football now, and after scoring 50 or more points in each of their last three games, Ohio State facing a tougher defense tonight with Big Ten newcomer Rutgers making their first ever appearance at Ohio Stadium. Getting the best of Michigan a couple weeks ago, and I'll have to Ohio State. Lipsick junior offensive lineman Gavin Cup on an unofficial visit. First quarter, after a Rutgers three and out, OSU threatening. Uh, JT Barrett finds Nick Vanette. First of two touchdowns for Vanette. Up early, late in the first at the one. Ezekiel Elliott, no problem into the end zone. It's 14-0 Bucks. Second quarter now, OSU up 21-7. Rutgers ball at their own 10. Gary Nova's pass complete in the flat. Silver bullet swarm, Rashad Frazier. Joshua Perry there, ball knocked free. It's into the end zone. Eli Apple scoop and score, 28-7 OSU. Third quarter, OSU at the Rutgers 33. Barrett, patient in the pocket, no one's open, takes off. First of two, two rushing touchdowns. 107 yards rushing on the ground. It was all Buckeyes in this one. Later in the third, Barrett to the air. What a grab by Evan Spencer in the end zone. OSU cruises 56-17 in the final. 585 total yards of offense for the Bucks. Defense holds Rutgers to just 196 yards passing. They needed a good showing in this one. Mark and Mike were at the wet and windy shoe and have more. Well, thank you, Patrick. You know, Ohio State, a dominating win, but hearing from Coach Urban Meyer after the game, like most coaches, he found some things he wasn't pleased with. Yeah, I think this, you know, to, to come out like we did on, on uh, you know, a national televised game, you know, next week we all know what's coming down the barrel, and that's a primetime game in a, a stadium with 110,000 people, and, and that's going to be a great evaluator. You know, this was a home game against a team that we had a lot of respect for that really earned. They were, they, we considered our whole talk all week was they're a 6 0 team. And that's the way you approached it. And so there was a lot of, and I think you can tell the way our guys came out that there was no, a lot of respect for that team. And not, not, uh, it was earned respect by what they did a couple weeks ago when they beat our rivals. So Mike Miller joins me now. And Mike, we heard from Coach Meyer. He wasn't happy, still not happy with the red zone. Talking to some of the players, they almost felt as if they lost this game because the defense didn't play as well as they wanted to, even though they only allowed 17 points. You know, I think that's an excellent sign, Mark, that there's there's unhappiness as you strive for perfection. And this is a team, I, I don't think they're, the reason they're generally not happy is because they haven't played enough games in recent weeks, so they have a lot of reasons to be critical. They've been, they've been sitting in the film room a lot, so uh, I'm pleased that they're critical, their performance, that's how you get better. Bottom line. Buckeyes score 50 points or more for the fourth straight week, or fourth straight game, I should say, and improve to 5-1 and one as they head to Penn State next week. Nittany Lions, they had this week off coming off the loss to Michigan, so the Buckeyes will head to their next primetime destination one week from tonight. And, of course, Mike and I will be there in Happy Valley with all the highlights and post-game reaction for you next week on Buckeye Insider. Let's send it back to the studio.